Hey, what's going on? I'm Nick Acosta, and I want to share something with you real quick. I want to talk about being intentional. I want to talk about taking action and, and doing something in the times that a lot of us in the body of Christ, um, we tend to kind of sit back and wait and see what happens. So I want to read from James 5, verse 13, okay? So it says, is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing in psalms. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. So that's 13 through 16, okay? And we've read this and heard this and preached this a lot of times, but I want to point some things out to you that will help you in your walk in Christ because that's what it's all about, right? It's all about your relationship with God and your walk as a son or a daughter of God. Amen. And that includes your relationship. That includes your witness. That includes uh, just everything. All right. Your faith, love, your understanding, everything. So check this out. Is anyone among you suffering? So I say, is anybody going through something? Is anybody suffering right now? What does it say? It says, let him pray. Do something about it. Take care of that issue. Don't look at it. Don't look at it and just tolerate it, but do something, right? Pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing songs. What's it saying? Express yourself. There's, there's no use being alive in Christ because of the spirit that gives life if you're not expressing it. You're not moving like it. You're not talking like it. You're not thinking like it. You're not singing like it. You're not praying like it, okay? Is anyone among you sick? Here's a big one. Here's a, a, a major one that brings confusion in the body of Christ. Is anyone among you sick? What, what's it going to say? Because a lot of times we think it comes from the Lord. A lot of times it, it, we think we can't do nothing about it because we still have sinful flesh and the flesh gets sick, but our spirit doesn't. And we get all this little doctrine made up about things. But let, 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 let's see what the Lord wants us to do if anyone is sick. Because if we agree that if you are cheerful, we should sing, we should sing songs if you agree with that. And if you agree that if somebody's suffering, we should pray about it, right? You ever see somebody that you know, that you love, and they're down, and you're like, oh, let's pray for you. You think that's good, right? I think that's good. That's Christ-like. Well, it's all in the same verses. So let's read about being sick. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him. Here goes pray again, doing something about it, bringing the supernatural of God into a situation that should not be. Why? How do we know that? Because if we were praying, that means we don't want it to stay the same, right? The only reason to pray is to change something in the situation. So Jesus says, if you believe on that in your heart, you will say to a mountain, move and it will be moved. Why will you tell a mountain to move if it's not supposed to move? It's supposed to move. That's what Jesus taught. So it says, if anybody's sick, let them pray, pray over him, anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. And it says, and the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up. It doesn't say, and if it's the Lord's will, it doesn't say if that person has been good, if that person has forgiven everybody. It doesn't say if that person has truly learned their lesson. Guys, it says, and the prayer of faith will save the sick. If the person praying is believing, they're supposed to be healed, okay? That's what Jesus taught again. You say to a mountain, move. If there's no doubt in your heart, it is supposed to move. And it says, and if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. Here's another action. A lot of times... We, uh, we get offended with somebody or something kind of like worries us or concerns us about somebody and we hold it in and we grow angry with people and when they come around we act different and we don't talk about it. Here it's saying take action again. Do something about it, right? It's saying be intentional about stuff. Move. Take action. Here's the term. Here's the term right here. Taking ownership. As believers of Jesus Christ, we are to take ownership like he took ownership. He says, I want my people saved. 
I want them to enter the new covenant, the better covenant with better promises with God. So therefore, I'm going to come to earth. I'm going to do something. I'm going to take ownership, come down myself, dwell among my people, my own, even if they don't know me, even if they don't accept me, even if they will be the ones that lead me to the cross, I will still take ownership, come down and do it and save them myself because they cannot save themselves. So as Christ-like ones, as Christians, right, anointed ones like the big anointed one, in Christ himself, we are to take ownership, do something about the things that occur here on in the world. Because even though we're not of it, we're still in it. And as he is, we are in this world. So we are to take ownership and do something about our situations. It says to confess your trespasses to one another. Tell, tell them what hurts you. Tell them what offended you. Talk about it. And it says pray for one another that you may be healed. That's it. That offense will be healed. Whatever was bothering you, that burden in regards to that person will be lifted off of you. A lot of people take this verse and they think that it's talking about physical healing. No, it says, confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. It's talking about offense. It's talking about an issue that you have with another brother or sister in Christ. And it's saying, talk about it, pray about it, release that, and your heart will be healed. That offense will be healed, okay? It's not that somebody needs to forgive somebody for their bodies to be healed. That's, that's a different in doctrine Jesus never taught that in fact let me bring something to your attention everybody that Jesus healed was not saved was not born again was not in the new covenant that brings healing by his stripes right because he had yet to suffer those stripes he had yet to go to the cross right so they were not believers yet okay and he healed them the bible says that he healed multitudes and he healed them and he healed all that came to him and then it says that he did so many things that if they were all written in books, the whole earth would not be able to contain the books that are written about the things that he did. He did so many things. So do you honestly think, guys, and this is a real question, do you honestly think that Jesus healed all those people, so many, that the earth would not be able to contain the books that are written about the works that he did, the healings, the miracles that he did. And do you think that all those people had 0% of unforgiveness? 0% of unforgiveness and 100% forgiveness to people, even though they weren't even born again, even though they didn't even have the Holy Spirit. Do you honestly think that? No, I know it's not realistic to think that every person Jesus healed had zero for unforgiveness, zero bitterness. So how did they get healed? Because Jesus believed. Because he moved the mountain. Amen? So when it's talking about confess your trespasses to one another, pray for one another that you may be healed, it's talking about your offense being healed. Right? That burden being removed. Whatever you have against somebody that hurts you, that bothers you, that's going to be taken care of because now you communicated. What's communication? Taking care of the matter. Expressing yourself. Doing something about it. Taking ownership. So I want to encourage you, motivate you to take ownership today. Take ownership for the rest of your life, for the rest of your walk in Jesus Christ. Ownership. When somebody's down, pray. When, 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 when somebody's sick, Pray, pray the prayer of faith that they will be healed. Not the prayer that's wondering whether they're going to be healed or not. It says the prayer of faith will heal the sick. So they're supposed to be healed. They're supposed to get up. You speak to the mountain without doubt. That mountain is supposed to move. And that's the teachings of your Lord, of your King. Amen. Be intentional. Take ownership about stuff. You got a problem with somebody. They come around or they call you. You know what? I'm not just going to talk to you like nothing happened. Let's talk so that I don't have this against you. What is this? We're going to start taking action because if we don't, nobody will. If you don't, nobody will. Amen? There's so many people that need to be saved out there and, and, and we always come together to church, to, in church and in conferences and we talk about it and a lot of times we even might get trained to minister to them but when we don't go out, well, who else will? What other religion? What other sect? What 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 cult? What what school? What institution will go out and care for souls and minister to them the love and the power of Jesus Christ? But us, we have to take ownership in these things and in every area of our lives. So I want to encourage you to take ownership. Amen. If this helped you, this blessed you, I want you to hit like on this video, share this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Nick Acosta. Why? So that more people can get reminded 
by the word of God. This is the word of God. James chapter 5, 13 through 16. We are to take ownership and do something. Amen? Love you guys.